what we saw very clearly from the cases was that a decrease in the mean speeds on the roads led to a decrease in the number of crashes and injuries. And uh, in the same way, we saw that if the mean speed increased, we could also see that the number of crashes and injuries increased. And uh, the, the results also confirmed the theoretical models available. One model is called the power model, for example, and the cases, the act what actually happened in countries, the results from the cases confirmed uh, these models. So our recommendation based on these actual cases are that you should um, do actions to reduce the mean speeds on our roads and that could be either uh, implementation of speed cameras, it can also be a change of speed limits and you can of course also do changes in the infrastructure to adapt to the common speed, li speed limits. Okay.